because don't bury on for everybody. The life of everybody is the life of Antioch. Boy, fix up, go be a man, go get the moolah. She's the only one who keep you on hundred. Go to her house, she pick me something. If I do wrong, she tell me something. Hey there, you welcome to another tutorial on SC Tools where I'll be showing you how to record pro Afrobeat vocals in FL Studio. And right here I have with me Boy Rael. Yeah, we have Rael right here again, Boy Rael. But first I'm going to show you how to set up FL Studio so that you know you get the perfect recording settings. And so you also know what I'm using, okay? So the first thing you're going to do, obviously drag your beat into the project. Okay, then you want to come to options, audio settings, yeah. make sure you're using your audio interface as usual, okay? And then you want to you have your buffer length to be as low as possible without having clicks and pops. So I'm going to have right here, so I usually record between 16 to 60 um, samples, so you can find the sweet spot for you in there. And then you just open up your playlist, then detect the tempo right here, the beat says 95 beats per minute, but you can just double check the text tempo 75 to 150. So I just come right here and set the tempo, type in value uh, 95. And then we just listen to see how it sounds, turn on the metronome. So we hear that it matches, okay? Sometimes you may have like a little bit of silence at the beginning of the beat if you do trim it out so that the main beat starts. So the next we're going to do is set up our recording um, track. By the way, you can get a full on template for mixing and, you know, making your vocal sound good. The link is in the description. But just come right here, right click, come to track mode, then come to audio track, then pick any empty insert. I'm going to pick insert three. Then you can just rename this to lead vox recording. Okay, so that everything we record on that lead vocals will be here. Then you can also come right here and then come to track mode and just pick another empty insert. And then you can just anything you record in here will be backup vocals if we have any backup vocals okay so and then just open your mixer come right here to lead vox choose your mic so his mic is input one and they want to turn off um feedback so i don't hear feedback on vocals so Matt is not like that so i'll just turn that off make sure you have external input set and that's pretty much it and then you can record and add your processing as we go Because don't bury on for everybody The life of everybody That's the life of empty hearts Boy fix up Go be a man, go get the moolah She's the only one who keep you on on head Right, that was nice So let's hear it raw without any processing Okay First By the end of the bar don't matter the cost, don't bury on for everybody. The life of everybody. That's the life of a cost. Don't bury on for everybody. The life of everybody. That's the life of empty hearts. Boy, fix up. Go be a man, go get the moolah. So now we're going to just set the tuning. We're going to come to the presets. We're going to come to tuning. Now you can use the full preset if you want, so you can build your own. So I'm just going to come right here, natural tuning. Um, or let me use heavy tuning this time. Drop it right here. And then you want to know the key of your production right here. It says B major, so I'm going to come right here to key B major. I'm going to, you don't need to set anything. You can just play it and hear it sounds first. Don't matter the cost, don't bury on for everybody. Now, if you want to reduce the amount of auto tune effects you hear, you can simply just increase the flex tune. Don't the bar, don't matter the cost, don't bury on for everybody. The life of everybody, that's the life of empty hearts. Next thing we need a compressor to just keep things, you know, locked and even. So I'm going to come right here to compression leveler. I'm use Arvox. Well, let's just use the stock leveler, FL Studios stock plugin, because that also works fine. And I could just add a reverb send. I'm going to come right here to reverb. 
you can use either directory variables or you can just come to send if i come to the chains then i come to send then i can just click any of these reverbs so i'm going to use the stock reverb then i'm going to send it in here so this is just you know a rough mix just to get the recording session going we can find the mix as you know much later on so now we're going to do start the actual recording right? so just the test record to make sure we have our um recording chain built properly <laughs> Okay, we'll take that part separate so I'll get more groove out of it. So that dot but love in the first side didn't mm, sound too yeah. good so once you we sing it maybe because you know there was another part coming that's why it's cut short so i want you to sing just this part say the love complete then i'll just find a way to like blend it in there you ready yeah feel free to sing along and be more relaxed with the energy yeah. too go to a house she beat me something if i do wrong she tell me something she make her own money she don't want nothing but love go to a house she beat me something if i do wrong she tell me something she make her own money she don't want nothing but love go to let me use this other half so what i'm basically doing is called comping where i just take different parts of a vocal and just blend it up together so that you know it sounds like a perfect take go to a house she beat me something if I do wrong, she tell me something. She make her own money, she don't want nothing but love. I can hear that little breath in there, mm -hmm. so we just sides connect. Go to a house, she beat me something. If I do wrong, she tell me something. She make her own money, she don't want nothing but love. Go to a house, she beat me something. If I do wrong, she tell me something. Nothing but love. Go to a house, she beat so i like the first half more than the second half nice nothing but love go to a house she beat me something if i do wrong she tell me something she make her own money she don't want nothing What 
zombies mm-hmm. that will break it up. We just do that healing energy first. We just repeat it, then we now come back and fill those words in. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't sound like you are rushing it. Sing it. Yeah. Healing energy on me, on okay. you. Then go again. Healing energy okay, okay, okay. on me, then okay. kill again. Healing energy on me. Healing energy on me. Like this first healing energy did not have as much power, mm. like it sounded like it died. So now we're going to start recording the backup vocals. So just turn this on and you ready? Yeah. Baby, can you make a wish for me? 11, 11. 11, 11, oh, oh. 11, 11. 11, 11, oh, oh. 11, 11. 11, 11, oh, oh. 11, 11. 11, 11, oh, oh, oh. 11, 11, 11, 11, oh, oh, oh. 11, 11, 11, 11, oh, oh, oh.
mix up Go be a man, go get the moolah She's the only one who keep you on hundred Go to her house, she pick me something If I do wrong, she tell me something She make her own money, she don't want nothing but love Go to her house, she pick me something If I do wrong, she tell me something She make her own money, she don't want nothing Healing energy on me Pretty much how I record Afrobeat vocals in FL Studio from the lead vocals to the backup vocals, the verse to hooks, you know, and all the other parts come together really nice in the session. Obviously, there are more than one ways to do this, but this is the easiest way that I found so far that just gets the ideas out real fast and you know, make it sound real good. And thank you again to Boy Rail. Rail yeah. yeah, thank you so much for again giving us this nice session. And, it, and as usual, his um, info will be added to the description of this video. You can check out his socials so you can keep up with him and his new releases and yeah. even his old releases. You can, you know, listen out for more and support this talent right here. So if you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. <laughs>